All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We are on our way. We're on our way to my buddy's house because we're going to be picking up a boat. He said I can take his boat out fishing today at the lake in this map. This map that we're on, first time I've ever been on it. And I'm curious to see what you guys think. It's called West Texas. It's a new map to me that I haven't been on. And I kind of want to see what you guys think of it. Give, give it a little tour, I guess. And they have, they have a pretty cool lake. It's not huge, but it, it's cool. They got one of the nicest boat ramps in FS. So that's what I'm excited to use. My buddy has a big 250 nitro bass boat, which is pretty sick. So we're going to put that on the water. Hopefully there's some other people out there. But I wouldn't be in Texas if, it, Texas if I wasn't driving a Cummins 3500 Ram diesel. She looks good. She's all blacked out in the, in the I think it's the midnight edition. It looks sick on the interior. And it's the limited model so we're gonna be literally pulling a bass boat with this beast and i'm driving by the lake real quick to show you guys kind of what we're going to also i'm gonna i'm gonna go by the go by the town as well to show you guys like what what that exactly is like and pretty much give a tour of the place there's some really cool houses on this map as well i don't know i'm let me know what you guys think i kind of want to do role plays once once you see the tour i kind of want to do role plays on here like at least there's a the city is pretty cool honestly pretty excited about the city but here's the lake there's the dam that's that's awesome let me get out here real quick i feel like ooh, somebody's out on the water or no it's like they're docked on the side but anyway here is this cool jam i bet there's some nice big bass in there that some texas bass they say the biggest the biggest bass live in texas but that's the lake keeps wrapping around there i'm gonna get turning around though i'm gonna try and get on the water here my buddy's place isn't too far all right guys here we are we made it to my buddy's place i love his place it's kind of like well the roof doesn't look too good it's kind of rusty but it's like a log cabin for y'all I'll, I'll go inside here real quick show you guys but they need to work on the driveway a bit that's kind of kind of rough they need to put some gravel down they got weeds growing here's the place it's pretty sick honestly on the inside feels like a log cabin you walk underneath you got like the exposed rafters or whatever you call them the big wood beams coming across but insane kitchen look at this his mom cooks so much food for him one two three four five six seven burners holy biscuits and gravy boys you can make a lot of biscuits and gravy in there but you got the huge wood wood fire burning stove so that thing heats up the place real nice he's got a cool uh cool picture there but yeah that's the place I guess I better not. Oh, we're having some weather this week, but I better not be creeping around this house too long. So the bat or the bass boat's in that first stall in the three three stall building. So we'll run over there real quick. We'll hook up to it and we'll get out. We'll get out to the lake. It should be fun. We should have uh should have a good time. There we go. Hopefully this is it. Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's a sick boat. I think he took off. He debadged it or something. Took off like all the uh, the nitro stickers and then just totally got a new paint job on it. I think it looks pretty cool. He said he just liked the clean look. And you, if you know your boats, you know it's a nitro. But I don't know. I love it. I love it. Looks cool. He's got the tongs in the back. Yep. It's, uh, it is a 250. I was right. I was right. So two, Mercury 250. That thing can scoot on the water, especially early in the morning. You got a nice Garmin. A lot of good tech in this thing. If you guys are big bass fishermen, I'm not a huge bass fisherman. But I don't know. I'm in Texas, boys. We got we to gotta seek the opportunity to get out Texas water and catch a 10-pounder. That would be pretty sick. We're going to open up the old gate here. Come on. And there we go we're on the road we're looking good we're looking good let's let's get out there let's get fishing should be a fun time unfortunately like the 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 lake is like right over there like it's the lake is not far away as the crow flies but unfortunately the road uh they they like built the road weird and it takes forever to get there but we're not far away if i just had like my drone i could easily fly over there real quick there we go let's get on some blacktop don't want to dirty up my truck too much especially the boat too but six setup oh here, real quick, I'm gonna pull up on the side of the road. I, I wanna, I wanna show you guys something about this truck, especially if I'm pulling this bass boat. First, I have the adjustable hitch in the back so I can lower it to make a more level ride, but it still is kind of sticking up. I got airbag system on the front and the rear, so I can raise and lower the truck. So, in my opinion, that's it's still a little up, but it's a bass boat. It's as level as I can possibly make it with this truck, so we should be good to go. We're looking good. We're gonna get there any second. And throw some crankbaits on the on the dam. We should be able to get some uh, some big bass there. So far, I'm loving this map. It's West Texas. It's cool. And I've never been to Texas. I've seen pictures, videos, of course, but I don't know. I kind of always wanted to go to Texas. And this map, I don't think we've had. We probably had a, a, a Texas map in FS, but I don't know. It's pretty. Feels pretty realistic. It's got a lot going on too. So it's not just a basic farm map. There's lakes like this. So here's the backside of the lake that I hadn't shown you before. We gotta drive around back up on the dam and there there's the ramp there's a little dock over there as well but this it's not a big lake but it's fun there's some big bass in here i heard here we go this is my favorite view looks good i should get out and take a picture of my setup but 
There we go. And for some reason, the dam's like, you could almost in the wintertime, looks like you could almost, if there, if Texas got a little, I guess this is me speaking, but if Texas got a little colder, you could like kind of make a cool little sledding hill out of it. But yeah, I don't think, I don't think, I guess people from Texas or like around the area does maybe like Northern Texas, the, the water would freeze maybe for a little bit, but probably not safe enough to ever walk on it. All right. looks like there's some people here. There's, there's a bunch of people here. There's a Tesla cyber truck. Oh, that's sick. There's a Tesla cyber truck and there's a big old lift data GMC over there, but nobody's got their boats in the water. I wonder what's wrong that nobody has their boats in the water. See if I can back this girl up. There we go. Use my mirrors. There we are. Keep backing her up. The water looks good. Nice and refreshing. But we're going to get this in the water and we're going to get fishing. I wonder why nobody's in the water and they're all just sitting in their trucks. Oh, it looks like somebody's coming out to talk to me. What the heck? All right, it looks like they shut down the waterways. There's some sort of pollution, so nobody's supposed to be in the water right now, which I didn't see a game warden or like a, a official out here, but I was about to put my water in. Those guys said they're they're waiting it out, but it looks like we aren't going to be able to go fishing today, guys. But on a serious note, unfortunately, right now, this map isn't able to actually put a boat on it. When you drive into it, it uh, it destroys it, just like when you drive a car into the water in FS on normal normal maps. It pretty much, in FS, that's the only way to, to destroy a vehicle or a boat or a car is to drive it into the water when it's not, like, meant to. And then you have to reset your truck like you can't get into it, anything. That's what happens, unfortunately, with the map right now. I'll get it fixed. I just couldn't right now. But I kind of wanted to show you guys this map to see what you think of it pretty cool if we could if we could go fishing on it i would i'm just as bummed as you guys but at least we got to see it it was a cool lake i'm gonna head into town show you guys what's in town and uh it, it, i love it man this map is pretty sick in my opinion there's no better way no cop no stop no better way to give a map tour than in 35 cummins and uh in a bass boat in the back and we're in texas so i think we're sitting pretty good you can see the city from here here we go. Here's the city. We got to get off the interstate here, but there's an Applebee's. They got my favorite glazed donut shop. Like, they got a Wendy's. They got a Mickey D. I don't love McDonald's. They got Taco Bell. All in general, my favorite right now is a little bit of Wendy's. We'll pull up and through here. This is what I'm saying. The map is pretty sick. There's a BP gas. There's a lot of things going on. I think there's a Walmart back there. There's a lot of opportunities for role plays in the future. We could always bring our... I feel like Texas would be a great place for a power sports store. I was also thinking about they got some storage. Metro self-storage. There we go. So, you know, the people could store their, their, their four-wheelers, their ATVs, dirt bikes, whatever, also in there, and then go rip them. So nobody has any excuses. There's a basketball court. Yeah, I was thinking about bringing a power sports into town. Maybe once we get the lake fixed, we could do some CJ boats here, sell some boats. Here's the Dodge dealer. That's where I'll take my truck. She's looking pretty nice. I'm like this map so far. There's a, I think, yeah, there's a Wells Fargo. So there we go. We could rob some banks. Who knows? We could also rob some banks. So that's something we might have to do down the road if we ever get tight on cash. So that's always important when, when we're in town here. If there's a there's a bank, I got to know there's a bank by. But one of the coolest things about it is there's a football field. There's literally a football field. There's a field goal post, everything, stadium, bleachers. That's pretty cool. I wonder, I wonder if we could ever do something with that in the future. Maybe the Super Bowl coming up. That's kind of the main gist of the city. Otherwise, if I pull up the map, it's mainly just a bunch of farmland. Here's where the lake was at. There's some more water systems. There's some smaller ponds, but here's the city. In my opinion, it's pretty good for farm sim. It's realistic. It's not crowded. It's American. A lot of the cities are like European. It just feels weird, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Sorry, guys. We weren't able to go fishing, but I was bummed out too. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to comes diesel she was fun to run and i better give this back to my buddy before he starts to freak out a little bit but at least i didn't take it in the water so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one